so i'm going book shopping again like i just did this but honestly all i can think about is reading and also buying books and like since i'm reading more and you know my bookshelf is a little bare on the bottom why not just go buy more books i need to go buy more books if we really think about it i don't know so we're going to barnes and noble i just bought books i went to books a million they were having a little sale i ended up getting like four books i'm gonna do a haul of like all the books i've gotten recently that i haven't showed you guys at all at the end of the video because i have a lot already that like i bought within the last week or two but i want to go buy more i'm gonna go to barnes and noble so i'm gonna go right now let's go buy some books i'm so excited found myself smiling more the moment you leave i feel down again i talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone i swear that i'm trying my best you tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of hope So hold my hands out for a minute I'll let you know when to let go You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run in You never say a word even when it hurts Everywhere you go, everywhere you smile cup that I, that I got from Target. It has a weird taste. But I don't know if it was because like maybe there's a little bit of soap left in it or maybe because the water I got from Starbucks has some flavor. I, don't, I can't tell what it is. It's something. I got the sage color and I want to put stickers all over it. All over it. Time for a book haul. I take my shoes off. That's what I need to do. It's literally about to storm outside. Okay, I have a lot of fucking books. Like, like I have a lot. And like, like a lot. This is really heavy. Well, I did only get two books from Barnes & Noble. Because I was like, I need to settle down. I had other ones I was going to give. And I was like, they're cheaper on Amazon. So, and I'm not going to read them now. So, might as well like wait. It's literally about to storm its ass off. So, I'm going to start off with the books that I just got from Barnes & Noble. Because, you know, we were there together. I was going to get yours truly. Every time I go to Barnes & Noble, I pick up yours truly. And I almost get it. And I'm like, no, I could just order it. And I still haven't read Part of Your World. So I'm like, I need to read that first. So I just don't need it yet. First book I got, Defy Me, which is the fifth book in the Shatter Me series. This is kind of out of order because I did get some of the other ones. But uh, this is the one I got at Barnes & Noble. It's the fifth one. I'm literally still, I have the second book right here. I still am not even a quarter of the way through this book. I kind of stopped reading it because I'm kind of just didn't want to read it right now, I think. But I still bought like the other books because why not have them for when I'm ready to read, you know? Did I just see a spoiler? 
trailer. No, why would I open the book? Why would I open the book? Why did I have to open the book to the exact part that I think is a spoiler? What the fuck? What does that even mean? No, now I need to like read the series because what does that even mean and how did that even happen? Anyways, I got to find me the fifth book. I'm not gonna open this one. Okay, kinda want to. I'm not going to. And then I got The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. I am so fucking excited for this series. I have Once Upon a Broken Heart. There somewhere and i'm saving it because i don't want to start the series until the new next book is out or like until it's about to be out you know because i just can't i can't do it so i'm waiting as long as i possibly can i feel like i'm gonna love it a lot i feel like it just has everything that i love in a book i have really high hopes for this i was gonna wait to get it but then i was like you know what why not just get it now so like i have it and it can be up on my bookshelf waiting for me for when I'm ready to read the series. On to, where should I start? I guess I'll go to in order now from like what I got first. This was like maybe two weeks ago. I ordered the rest of the Magnolia Parks series because I have the first one. I read half of it and then I put it down because I had to read a different book for a book club. And like it was really good, but then I forgot to like ever read it, finish it. So I need to either start that over or like continue reading it soon. But I got these and I'm so glad I did. I kept putting off buying the rest of them. But then the author of this series announced she was releasing new covers. It was like, I follow like the Magnolia Parks Instagram. And they were like, on this day, we're going to announce the new covers, like what they look like. And I was like, okay, I need to buy the other covers like ASAP because I know as soon as they announce that shit, it's probably, they're probably not going to sell these anymore. And I was right because they're not selling them right now. I'm pretty sure they're... They are bringing these covers back to sell because people were kind of mad about the new covers. So these are coming back, but I don't know when they're coming back. So I'm really, really glad I got them. That was a that was a good move on my part. So I got second book, Daisy Hates. Magnolia Parks The Long Way Home and Daisy Hates The Great Undoing. I'm just so excited to read the series finally. It was really good though. I was like so invested. I wish I didn't put it down. I remember like I was following like the, there's a page that posts like Magnolia's outfits and like everyone's outfits that they wear. And I was so addicted to looking at that and it was just so fun. Literally, Literally. Gossip, gossip Girl vibes. vibes. These covers are so fucking good. But I want these displayed on my bookshelf all like facing out. I ordered these two books from Amazon. A Thousand Boy Kisses. I was going to read this in my 24 hour reading vlog, but I just never did. I saw people crying after reading this. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I want to cry. Then I got something really excited that I'm really, really, really excited about reading because so many people talk about this book series. Binding 13. It's the first book in the Boys of Toman series by Chloe Walsh. And I'm very excited. There's so many sounds going on in the background. I also just learned that they're releasing new covers. The alternative covers that they have on Amazon, literally, they stopped selling them June 30th. It is June 5th right now. So I was... I literally found this out yesterday. So I was like four or five days late to finding that out and not being able to buy them. And they're never going to be printed again. So... That's cool. So I got this. I want to get the rest of these before the new covers come out so I can have these covers too. I don't know if they're keeping these covers. I was not expecting this book to be so fucking big. This shit is thick. And the font? This shit is minuscule. Friendship, first love, rising fame, horrifying secrets, and pain all fuel together in Binding 13. Excited for that. Need some, some drama. I can't believe I have so many fucking books. I went to Books A Million the other day, a few days ago. They were having a buy to get third free sale on like a bunch of different books, select books. One of the one of the select books was the Shatter Me series. I already have book one, book two, and then Unite Me, which is like the two novellas that come in between. So I got book three, which I think this is my favorite cover. Let me take this fucking sticker off. See, proof of the sale. What the hell? There's like two stickers. Oh, I think that was to make it easier. Not a sticker, it's like a piece of paper. I think this is my favorite cover out of all of them. I just like the flowers and the colors. I got book four, Restore Me. And then I got the novellas, Find Me. It's Shadow Me and Reveal Me. I hate the stickers they put on the back of the Books A Million ones. It's annoying. I just realized this book, the sticker that they put on here is more expensive than the fucking price on the book. That Stupid. That's fucking stupid if you ask me. This is one of the novellas in between some of the books. I don't know which ones. I don't know where where it falls. So I got these three. And then I got Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. I this cover is so pretty. This is one of my favorite covers. I've seen a lot of people talking about this recently. No God, no future, no war can come between them. There 
writing like letters to each other during a war or something. I, that's all I know. They're, like pen pals. Is this enemies to lovers? I like this review. Rich and romantic. If stories had scent, this one would smell like a mug of black tea, the ink ribbons of a typewriter, and that addictive spice called enemies to lovers. I didn't know this was enemies to lovers if it is. Oh, she's so pretty. Lastly, a package I haven't opened yet. I got this a few days ago. I got The Kingmaker and The Rebel King by Kennedy Ryan. Apparently these are new covers. I think that's why they became popular. I don't know if these are like old. I don't know when these came out. To be 100% honest, when I first saw people talking about this, I thought it was a fantasy series because it literally looks like a fantasy series. It's not, I think it's just like a romance. I actually have no idea. Uh, maybe there's like a billionaire. What is this book about actually? I just bought it, but I like the covers, they're pretty. And those are all the books that I got. How many did I buy? One, two, three, four, five, 13 books. I think that's the biggest book haul I've ever done. That's a lot of money. Also, look at how pretty this fucking look at that i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed coming to the bookstore with me i will 100 percent be doing this again i like buying books the storm is literally raging i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video did they use someone's real eye for this